So let's start with the obvious ones. Ji Yang and Mortify for heavy attacks, Kaltro and Yinlin. These are two main DPSs that have somewhat dedicated sub DPSs. They are too good of combinations to not use if you have the characters. I will say that this video primarily focuses on pairing up main DPSs with sub DPSs for supports you can just run anybody. Obviously, recommendation number one, Verena. If you don't have her because you don't want her, you didn't get her, Byzi is totally fine. And you can definitely get away with running other sub DPSs that I may not mention for the rest of the main DPSs on this list. These are just what I would recommend based off my opinion and what I think would work best. So for Encore, Yuan Wu would be great. Yuan Wu is just a very versatile character. He, he pairs well with any DPS. Um, he could be in, put into any team and it won't be bad at the very least. You can also run Mortify with Encore. I kind of already mentioned this in my previous video, but you'd have to make a conscious effort uh, in focusing heavy attack damage with Encore if you're running Mortify with her. For Danjin, you can also run Yon Wu, but because Danjin has such a reckless playstyle, you could run Jian Shin as a sub DPS for added survivability. And if you're feeling really, really zesty, you can run Tao Chi as support. So you would have Danjin main DPS, Jian Shin as sub DPS, and Tao Chi support just to make use of Dungeon's outro skill effect, which like boosts like 30% havoc. Um, the Tao Chi can somewhat make a use of. Qixia is just Yuan Wu all the way. Ling Yan would be Sanhua, cause she, her outro skill boosts glacial damage by like 30%. I'm just gonna mention Yin Lin on this list as a main DPS, in case some of you uh, pull for her whenever she comes out and don't have Kalcharo yet, you can get away with running her as a main DPS for sure. And big surprise here, her ideal sub DPS would be Yuan Wu. Not just because he's got all that off-field damage, but also because he can also make like full use of her outro skill, which like not, not only boosts ultimate damage, but also electro damage, so that would min-max her kit, I guess. Alto. I wouldn't really recommend running him as a main DPS, but if you've got no choice, or you really like him, or you just want to give it a shot. Yang Yang could be a very niche pick. Very surprising, but I think they complement each other very, very well. Yang Yang can enable Alto in the sense that because you're not going to be able to hit all of your shots through the gate, Alto's ultimate gate. Yang Yang can CC the enemies for you, which will make hitting the enemies through the gate a lot easier. Plus the fact that Alto has a very high costing ultimate, and Yang Yang's outro skill helps with that too. Surprising match. Will it be good? Probably not. But it does sound really fun. Rover. I would honestly put Rover with Alto so that when you do Rover's outro skill, you slow enemies and then you ulti, you switch into Alto and ulti with Alto and then you can basically guarantee that you'll hit every single shot through the gate. I, I mean, it's just a free win from there. Just watch the enemies cry for their mommies. It's a the damage is going to be unreal. And then finally, Sanhua. Um, I just put Chishia so as not to put Yanwu again, but since Sanhua has a very quick rotation without her forte up, Chishia can take the field um, whenever you need her to, because that's all she wants to do. Why would you even run Sanhua's main DPS in the first place? I mean, I don't know. In case you do, Here's what I cooked up, so. 
yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya.